The card was stolen. A local woman took all the right steps to protect her money and her identity, but she still ended up in a financial mess. And then, to make matters worse, her card company gave her the runaround. They left her with no money to her name. So that is when she decided to get Marty. This is something Patty Ann Garvey hasn't done in a while. Look how she covers up the keypad at the ATM for good reason. Took the card and figured out my pen and put it in and got $500. Truth is, a desperate drug addict, also a distant acquaintance, looked over her shoulder at this convenience store, stole her pin, stole her card, then ripped her off. I went to go to pull out some money for gas and I couldn't find my card. That's when I panicked and called the company, shut it down. The card is an Amex Bluebird debit card. Acts almost like a checking account. On the Bluebird card agreement, it states you will not be liable for goods or services fraudulently purchased through your account. If you tell us within two business days after you learn of the unauthorized use, you can lose no more than $50. Seemed pretty clear. Patty Ann was covered. You know, you lose $500, you have to shift a lot of bills and you know, it's already pay to pay. Amex sent her a new card. Her paycheck was deposited into the account. Amex froze the account again, now blaming her for the fraud. It was like being victimized again. And that's what it was. It was basic victimization over and over again. And they didn't want me to use the card. They didn't want me to ever be a part of that card holders. Now she's in bad shape. $500 stolen, $800 paycheck frozen, major financial problem. So now you have a paycheck plus another paycheck gone and bill collectors calling. That's when Patty Ann's brother-in-law, Art, sent me this email. I am writing you on behalf of my sister-in-law who was a recent victim of theft of her ATM card. She could not have access her own money any longer using the card, they refused to honor the agreement. It, it was just, it wasn't right, and, and the right thing needed to be done, and, and somebody needed to call them out, and I was hoping that you could do that, and you did. Turns out there are video cameras where the crime took place. Turns out surveillance tape showed the suspect ripping off the ATM with Patty Ann's card. The police report stating, on the videos, I observed white male go to the ATM machines and withdraw. Police identified the suspect who admitted to the crime. I didn't think that it was going to have a good outcome. Within a few days of us sending Amex the police reports, we got this statement from the company. Circling back in light of the police report, American Express has decided to reverse our decision and honor the card member's fraud claim. An Amex vice president called Patty Ann. She was very apologetic and returned the $500 and turned the card back on. So everything was cool. Everything was good. What was that like for you? Oh, happy days. Happy days. She also learned a little lesson about debit card protection. I change pin numbers constantly. Smart move. And uh, this card lets you do that, that American Express Bluebird card. They jumped all over this, by the way. They resolved this force in a very professional way. Their initial concern that since Patty Ann knew the man who ripped her off, it was an acquaintance that she was somehow involved. The police report and the confession by the suspect obviously, guys, uh, cleared that up and they actually gave her all of her money back and life is good again. No, that's good. And she's absolutely right to change that pin number. Oh, yeah. As frequently as you can. Uh, can. So this just proves consumers are protected. Well, there's. Very specific writing in the credit card agreement that says if you notify them within two days that you're covered and right. you're protected. And she did and she wasn't. And that's why we got in the middle of this. But it just suggests that you have to keep going higher and higher and higher. And we ended up with the vice president of American Express to finally get it resolved. Well, good. I'm glad you did. Sure. All right. Thanks, All right, Marty. Marty. Thanks so much. And if you have a problem and you want to get Marty, you can send an email to get Marty at KDKA.com or call 412-575-2244. And visit KDKA.com slash get Marty to see how he's making a difference one story at a time.